My friends, welcome back. We are playing as the United Federation of Planets. So we're still in this uh, Bream War. And it's going to be quite, quite an achievement to get this uh, done. We have our troops going from planet to planet. I'm not sure if you're currently getting into position to take it. Um, yes, you are. Uh, some of these planets will go pretty fast. I was kind of hoping that more of my allies would be getting into the fight. Uh, it does look like this. But it's still going to take a massive, massive amount of time. And that time actually we can use to strengthen the fleet and prepare for the Borg. Because he, right now he's fighting with the... Um, the Karaman Foundation, so this will disappear. What I see happening is um, the Borg taking this part of space, and we currently have almost all of this. If we can actually get a peaceful agreement with the Romulans who have been pushing on. Won't fall to those vermin. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, are we allied with them? No, they're guaranteeing. And the, the, what? What's the Klingons doing? They're both associated, and I would really like to have these guys in, in the, uh, in the coalition. Um, but what I worried about is that the fleet strength of my so-called allies has started to become quite low, as well as the uh, the trill and the bolian, the, the, the even the Ferengi. Uh, the Zindi is actually doing quite well with 10k, and the Zindi itself is is just this. This is the Zindi. It's that's all. They don't have more. So you would say that the uh, these guys actually no, they definitely have a bit of an issue going on there. Why is this? Oh. Federation sector Feder Federal member. Who the hell are you? Why is this border so weird? Is this a... Um, United Federation of Planets and... Uh, this, is a, this is a sector? What the hell is going on with you? Did I um, allow one of my guys to break off? I don't think so. This is rather weird. They have a migration treaty with us. And they are a member world. Wow, you're actually the very first member world that has expanded into two planets. I have high hopes for you then. We'll just see how that will go. But I kind of don't. He also has a mega structure in here. A galactic forum. Oh well. Which is fine. Let's uh, get that message out. I want to increase the uh, the amount even more uh, for these guys. Uh, because I would like to see them do whatever it is that they do. And hopefully don't destroy my economy in the uh, process. Uh, but, but there are a few other things that I would like to try out. Now there is this thing called a set planet specialization. In which could it become a memory alpha. And that is a research world. Well, right now this is a research world. So I would like to see... Research output increases empire-wide. I don't know how what it will do for that. This now is a campus center. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, that is nice. Can I, does it mean that we get more research from here? Ah, oh, no, there's no more research buildings. Which is, uh, which is a shame, which is definitely a shame. Also, why can we not build these? We still have 10. Let's get rid of it. Oh, can, must not be a university planet. So how do we deal with houses? There must be a way. It used to be on the... Amenities. Do I really need to get rid of this? Boost up? Okay, let's do that. We're going to wait here.
Did I? Um, seriously, what, what is it that you want? How do I create houses? Is it just these buildings? You know what, that's fine. Um, nay, let, let's go back. Let's, uh, let's keep it. Um, but there's a few other things. Let's go and take a look. Uh, what else do we have? This looks like no food and the habitability is quite low. And this would be... I don't know. Let us decide in a penal colony. Since this is not a, uh, a nice planet anyway. So we might as well. Let's boost up the... Uh, um, oh, actually this goes a lot faster when the game is not passed. I wonder how this uh, will react with us. So we're going to be recalling this one right now. Because this is now our penal colony. Uh, let's see. Let's call this a penal colony. Initiating communications. Uh, let's see. Spaceport under attack. Colony. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That, it, it actually changes. Let's pause here because there was something going on. Migration treaty offer. I will accept. New research. The modular phaser type 3. And we'll get... Yeah. Well, okay. I, I guess. Let's go with the uh, the, the array. Another migration uh, migration treaty. Sure, I'll take it. Hey, I'll, I'll, get, I'll take everything. Um, if people are interested in becoming my vassal, I will take that as well. Uh, you're already a associate, so you will not go into that kind of a length. You are. Are they all associated with me right now? Is part of the coalition? Well, not with me. So they are currently at war with the Dozai and the Borg. Well, I wish you luck. Yeah, the Borg is is definitely... Uh, wow, you, you all are fighting against the Borg here. Uh, such a shame. Um, I wish actually that Dozai would have joined you. Uh, but then again, you are fighting it. So, yeah, that's not happening. And you are the Keepers of Peace. And you're doing absolutely a horrible job at it. Look, you're patronizing of, uh, because of us, but then again, uh, I'm not killing the entire galaxy over here, so you should deal with this. And I, I kind of expect that um, these guys should be waking up really soon. You the Vidians, I guess they found a cure because they almost lost their entire er territory. Uh, I hope for them. Let's see, that's the penal colony. Um, this one was the research university planet, so... Let's do University Planet. I should have done this a long time ago. Um, yeah, it doesn't solve anything. <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. Um, let's see, there's a few more. Uh, what are you? So, are you gorgeous by any chance? Let's see. So we still have a resort, an embassy. Well, we could do an embassy world. Doesn't feel like an embassy. It doesn't really feel like a fortress world either. Uh, let's see. You have a specialist job. Let's uh, boost that. Uh, yo, Eret. Hmm. I kind of am thinking about getting a more recent colony for this. If we can find a planet that actually is very good looking. Uh, not like these. Wow, what's going on with all of those jobs that upgrade that building? Um, that This is definitely not it. Definitely not. Wow. If we could terraform, I would. That's a, that's a shitty planet, mate. That is a shitty planet. Um... Come on, there has to be some good modifiers in here. Oh, wait. Energy credits. Ah, you're already built up. Let's go for our lower planets, actually. Yeah, it's a bloody scroll downwards. Um, yeah, you. 
will make you into a fortress. Let's, uh, let's go back. You, decisions. Can I set specialty with you? Oh, you can't even do that. So there is actually a certain amount of population required. Maybe it is the regional capital. Uh, you. You are going to be a fortress planet. Because I think that just sounds cool. And you. Wow. Well, it would be so nice if this could be our embassy world. And I should rename these so I can actually find them back. M B C. I don't type. Why do I not type? Let's unpause it for a second. Deploying liberation forces. So here we go. Embassy planet. Um, double S. Planet. Oh, this is it. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's just lovely. Come here. And this one is going to be Fortress. Yeah, I hope you you write it down like that. Fortress, probably. I have no clue. Yes, I do. There you go. Fortress, world. Should it be just world? I kind of think it's just world. Not, not planet. Sounds world. Sounds dumb. Yeah, world. So there's one more option uh, to go. Um, let's find something that looks nice-ish. Uh, too few pops. This one has seven. Admin hop. So, you would probably do. Okay, so apparently, it won't let me. So, it's not gorgeous enough. I will find one. That is for sure, because now, now I'm dedicated. I, I really want to find one. Ah, oh, come on, don't make me look bad. I can do that myself, actually. Also not. Do I have the uh, the resource world yet? Oh, come on, we have seen it a few times, so we know it exists. Can you only build one of each? That is very unclear to me. And I'm, I know, I know, there's a few people in here that are absolute expert in this game. Uh, actually, yeah, this game, I'm, I'm calling this a game. It's a complete overall for Stellaris, so might as well just call it a game. Doesn't really matter, right? anyways. Let's see. Oh, come on, don't bite me, game. I'll uh, keep the game running. I'll convert whatever I can towards a... That's not what I want to press, go away. Ah, oh, come on. Why not? This is gorgeous. Come on. Natural beauty. It has to be. There you go. The resort world. This planet. Oh, I knew there was one. Resort world. I'm not sure what it does. But you can live in a mushroom if you, if, if you like. It's a mushroom, right? So, yeah. Cool. Um... Not sure what it does, actually, but it's fine. So, let's do something else. We are doing liberations over here. And we should remain to do that. Takes a long time, though. Even to wipe out 600 trips. Uh, he's now level 2, so that's quite nice. So, let's go to speed 3. We are going to close this off because, man, this just makes me ooh, feel bad for those planets. Let's see. All of you can be... Upgraded again. The sixth fleet is starting to take shape. The game has been struggling, guys. It has been struggling. Look, we're still, we're not paused or anything. We're just frozen. Frozen in time. There we go. Maxing increases in uh, entertainment districts. Um, army experience gain. Let's take that since we are going to be using them quite a bit. So, how are, is the 6th fleet going? At full capacity. Damn. Okay, upgrade. Upgrade. 
and upgrade. And these are just going to be one of the first. Uh, we have a lot to fill, actually. Uh, looking at the fleet management, we're even under our naval cap, even with the sixth fleet. So, yeah, I'm thinking there needs to be a seventh Ships fleet. Upgraded. And we already uh, talked about this. Ships I want upgraded. a few bases that are closer to Borg territory. Are you not a star base? Yeah, you're a naval depot. So, you go, we got one over here. And there we go. Nebula class has been marked for retirement. Because we got the uh, Akira class and the Norway class. Uh, let's see. Polarizing field harvest. Interesting. It uh, truly interesting. Uh, but I want to go with the Armageddon. And uh, let's go ship designs and take a bit of a look because uh, we should. Uh, we already had the defiant class, but look at this, and we have seen this. We should have seen this a long time. So the heavy artillery cruiser with the engineering quarters. I like that. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Long range photon torpedoes. Shit, that's just heavy. What is does the defensive module? Effects on, the, on, on our own fleets. Cool. I really enjoy this. Weapon range. Oh, this is so sick. So there we go. The Aquila class. I'm, I'm saying we are very close to the end. We got the, spar uh, the spiral mount. Uh, sure. Science quarter. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. That's... Oof. What are you? Frigate? I don't know if that is the uh, what I want. Superior cruiser. That's... Look at that. I, I, I bet we can actually get that up even higher. No. So definitely the superior class cruiser. What it lacks in, in defense abilities, it makes up in pure, pure raw damage. Oh, damn, guys. Oh, damn. Okay, so do we... Yeah, we, of course, we now need to upgrade some of these ships and some will become obsolete in my fleet. Um, did they get a new icon when they become obsolete? I'm not really sure. The Nebula class multi... I don't think any of my fleets were in there. Also, what I would like to see is um, if you click that, it will open up your communications with this guy and and let's take a look a recommission the acula class no we don't i don't didn't we just get that no it's the akira class <laughs> these names they always get to me um let's go for the other one light cruisers so we got the Nagakara and something class. Who is that? It's this one. I go away. I don't need you no more. I kind of think that we want to have all of these on just don't have them. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that some of these are definitely obsolete. Long range vessels. The new Orleans class. Let's take a look. It's this explorer. It doesn't look old. It's not what I need. I'll be completely honest with it. I'm not using it. And the damage is under a hundred. And... Let's get rid of it. So all of my ships now should be well over a hundred damage. Well over. Hey, if, if the Defiant can do it, they all should be able to it. Uh, of course not by these guys. Do did they get a new update? No, they don't. Um, already checked you. You then you don't either. Let's take a look. What else are we? Oh, zooming out like crazy at the moment. There you go. So multi long range. I was there already. Yes, the multi mission. No ships over there. The heavy cruisers. The constitutional class. 
Yeah, maybe. Where are you? This was multi-class, right? I'm confused. Heavy cruiser. Let's go back. Okay, it's not the multi. It is actually heavy cruisers. And this is the constitutional class. I've been looking at it and I'm staring myself dumb. It is definitely older era. Because I think the, um, the other cruisers got it. Which is fine. I want the most advanced fleet. If that is possible. Now I'm aware this might not be the most interesting episode. But it is an episode nevertheless. Did I click this? Yes I did. And let's go with... Advanced Cruisers. Excelsior class. Oh man. That's that name. And uh, yeah we should get rid of it actually. Uh, I w I've said it so many times. I want the newest era of ships in my fleet. And yeah, I will take... Oh, okay, definitely. The, uh, this, this will remain like this. And we have Explorational Cruisers. Wait, we already clicked that? We did. Heavy Escorts. There's no bloody way I will uh, let the Defiant go. Why can I not let these ships go? Definitely keeping this like this. So, I like the, the how these ships look. They all look like they belong in this era. So, we got the um, Dakira. We got the Norway, which absolutely is fantastic. Uh, actually, these are two multi-mission ships. So, which is odd. We have, of course, um, the, the Galaxy class. We have the Defiant uh, we uh, have another galaxy class, but this is of course the Enterprise D, the flagship, which I am currently trying to remake again. So this is going to be our fleet. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. So thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, I'm definitely enjoying myself and I'll see you another time. Have a good one. Bye bye.